Hey, good morning, my friends. Listen, I wanna help you if you have an environment that you're in that isn't supportive of your goals. Listen, the fact of the matter is, is this. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Is everybody who's ever been successful did so out of environments that were not supportive of their goals. There's a belief, there's a, there's a myth out there that, that success happens when we are in environments that support our goals and that the only way to be successful is to be in an environment that supports our goals. Well, the fact of the matter is, is this, that's a lie. Yes. Having an environment that supports your goals, a coaching program, listening to podcasts, being around people matters. But using that as an excuse or a crutch for why you can't achieve your dreams or the fact that your environment is working against you and not supporting you is a total lie. Anybody who is successful existed in a state where their environment wasn't helping them. They had to choose to be successful regardless of that environment. And that's the choice that you have to make. I see often that, that people are waiting until all of their environment is perfect around them to start making the choices to go after their dreams. Listen, nobody is going to show up for you. Nobody is going to arrive to carry you and to hold you and pat you on the back and keep you moving forward. You need to become the leader that you are waiting to show up in your life. The only way that you are going to create the environment that helps you reach your goals is to lead yourself to that environment. Stop using your environment as a reason to excuse why you are where you are right now. The only reason that you are using that as an excuse is because one, people have told you If you're in a successful environment, you'll be successful. So that belief right there, A, it sells a lot of programs. It sells a lot of coaching programs. It sells a lot of products. It sells a lot of seminars. It sells a lot of, it sells stuff. That's why people say it. I'm going to be honest. Yes, healthy environments help us grow. But it is actually doing harm to your future to believe that you can't be successful until you're in a successful environment. There's no excuse in 2020. You got podcasts, you got videos, you got Facebook groups, you have books. You need to work through the personal stuff inside of you, the beliefs, the false beliefs that are keeping you stuck. There is not going to be a day where you're going to arrive in the perfect environment, the perfect scenario that's going to support you unless you pick yourself up, put one foot in front of the other, become the leader that you're waiting to show up, be the parent that you wish that you had to yourself. Stop waiting for, you know, the phone calls to stop, the kids to shut up, the the bills to stop coming in. It's not going to happen. Waiting for the environment to be perfect for you is never going to happen. And yet people use it as a crutch all the time. Listen, you need to step up and be the leader and take ownership over your choices. The fact of the matter that you're using your environment, your experiences, and what you're feeling to justify why you're not taking action will always keep you in that place. You will not get into the environment that will support your goals by believing that you're not going to be successful until you're in a supportive environment. And so you need to be the one that supports yourself, raises yourself up, picks yourself back up, get the help that you need. Start asking the questions that are going to help you get to the next level. Find the people that can help direct you. Get the mentors and the coaches. There's people out there that that can help you do that. There's podcasts. There's books. There's no excuse, my friends. I'm serious. Waiting until your environment changes to go after your goals is keeping you where you are right now. So what do you got to do? Listen, look around you. Look at your life. Look at your situation. What choices are you waiting to make 
when your environment is perfect. That's the choice that you need to make right now with an imperfect, chaotic, messed up environment. Seriously, whatever that choice is, whatever you are waiting to do when all the scenarios are finally perfect for you, that's the thing that you need to start doing today in the environment that you have right now. And you might say, well, it's you don't know my situation. It's not possible. Or maybe you think, I don't experience this. Listen, my friends, every single day, I have hundreds of excuses for why I can't get up, do videos, record podcasts, make courses, coach, talk to people. I have things that, the fact that I don't put it out there on blast to show people all the things that are going bad in my life doesn't mean that things aren't happening around me. I just don't allow them to create or define me. And that's what I want to tell you. Don't allow the things that are happening in your life that you're experiencing to define the choices and the decisions that you make for yourself. I get it. It's hard. You need to be tenacious. It sucks. It's going to hurt. It's going to be hard. Mm. You're going to have to do things that you wished you never had to do. And that's the choice that you have to make. Do the hard things. The hard things could be being okay with losing everything to step into your goals. Could be okay with saying no to things that have been a comfort zone for you for so long to step into the future that you know is possible for you. But the choice is yours. Nobody else will make that choice for you. There is not a person that's going to show up for you to make that choice for you until you do. Maybe you're waiting for somebody to finally give you permission to be who God made you to be. You have permission today to make the choice to go after the dreams that you have, to go after the goals that you have. Now listen, I want to be somebody that's there to help you. If, if you're just, you want to bounce something around, you're just struggling with something, that's what I'm here for is to help coach you, to help with these videos. Send me a DM, send me a message. I got, you can hop on the phone with me for 15 minutes for free. I got my free strategy call that I'm doing with people. Go over to my website, jeremiahkrakowski.com and sign up for that. But you have no excuse to keep what you're experiencing, to keep what is around you, to keep you where you are right now. I'm serious. Now listen, if you don't want to go after a goal, here's something I'm going to say. And then that's not really a goal that you have. You don't need to do anything to change that. If you like what you're getting up to this point, I don't want anyone to feel guilt or shame that they have to be a certain way because their environment or culture tells them they need to be a certain way either. But if you have a choice and a decision, you say, I want to change my situation from this to this. The only way to get from here to here is to make the choice and the decision to get the help, to learn what you don't know, to open yourself up to be vulnerable enough to learn the things that you've never learned before. And to do something different. You have to be ready to change some things. You will not get from here to here without changing what you did over here. And so, my friends, you're ready. <laughs> it's not a question you got to ask yourself. If you're watching this video, if you've gotten to this point in this video, you're ready to make the choices and the decisions to do something different than you've been doing up to this point. Start doing it today. Take action. We'll talk soon. Grow your life, everybody. Have a good one.